Today, let's talk about how we are using American Girl to teach American history for 8th grade. Hey everyone, if you followed us for a long time, you know that we are huge fans of the American Girl doll series and their books and everything. I had a Molly doll whenever I was 10, 12 years old, and then I gifted her to my oldest daughter, or second oldest daughter, when she was uh, uh, 10 years old, I think, herself. And then later, uh, family members gifted them more dolls, and uh, they eventually had some other new dolls, like also like the Welly Wishers and things to add to their collection. So when I had an eighth grader that was looking at American history, which is usually if you follow the course of school, most eighth graders in the United States go through American history for eighth grade. Well, the more I was looking at it, I was wanting something different for my eighth grader for this year. If you haven't seen a video update of how we changed school 100% completely for our 2022-2023 school year, I'll link that up here. And I wanted to wait a while to see if this method actually worked, and yes, it has been working. So here's a video describing how we are using American Girl to teach our eighth grade daughter uh, American history for the 2022-2023 school year. So first thing we did was we found this book at our Sam's Club. This is the American Girl Character Encyclopedia. And you can see Courtney's on the front of it. So when we purchased this book uh, at end of 2022, this book was pretty much up to date. I think the only doll I'm gonna try to find really quick um, are we still, oh, so this one is, so like even you can see already, just a spoiler, it has like the ones for the year. So the last one in here was, is Kira 2021, but up to that point, like the dolls of the year, they had up to 2021 in here. So of course, like, you know, the 2022 and 2023 dolls are not in here, but Courtney is in here. My goal for this though, was to take the character encyclopedia and look, and I'm only gonna do like one historical doll because I want you guys to go and look for this book if you can for your American history. Now you don't actually have to have this book, but this book springboarded how we taught American history through it. So what we decided to do was we went through, and these are the individual chapters of all the different dolls. And this is every single doll like every doll that had been made up to the publication of this book. So like you can see there's Elizabeth Cole. And if you're huge American Girl fans, you know Elizabeth Cole was a companion doll that was made for Felicity back in the 2000s, I think. I'm not 100% sure. So what we did was we looked at this list and said, okay, how can we break this down to cover a 38 week, I think an average school year is 38 weeks, a 38 week course for our girls, for or for my eighth grader, for American Girl. And I will go ahead and say, I have an eighth grader again next year as well, and she's already planning on doing this as well. So the first thing we did was like, okay, so Kaya is the first doll. Kaya covers Native American history before uh, colonial expansion of the United States. So we'd sit, we sat down and we spent two weeks on just Kaya. Then we spent one week on Felicity, one week on Elizabeth, two weeks on Caroline, two weeks on Josefina, one week on Cecile, one week on Marie Grace, and then we kind of went down the list like that. If it was a companion doll that went with another doll that made that the main historical focus was on, the companion doll took the second week. If not, we just gave two weeks to the main doll, and that ended up working out really well. That did mean that we took out some of the like newer dolls that they covered, but I basically tried to cover at least through the 2000s on our schedule. And I know what you're going to say is like, maybe that's not enough information. So let's go ahead and look, just sneak peek. Here's Kaya. So it gives some basic information about Kaya. And it's actual pictures of the dolls, actual pictures of sets that you can buy with backdrops that they use for the photoing purposes in American Girl Company to photograph these dolls gives basic information, year 1764. So if you're sitting down, and for us, we only do sit down book work three days a week for our homeschool. Day number four, a fourth day is set aside for field trips or hands-on uh, projects, unit studies, science experiments, lab days, etc. The fifth day is set aside for what I call um, shopping day, which is also like it's socialization, it's community service, it's again shopping and talking about budget and teaching real life skills on that fifth day a week. But we only do book work three days a week. So for like if we're doing it for, for if we're doing this for two weeks, that's six days of book work that I need to have or six days of class work. So I'm not a huge fan of assigning like book work every subject every day. I just feel like that's too overwhelming. And honestly, I have learned with our kids, they learn more from experiences versus 
sitting down and giving them a vocabulary list of 20 words to do in one day on top of all their other school for that day. So what it did though, this is one of my children who the two that are doing this this year and the one next year love reading. So all I did was day one, she would read Kaya and Kaya's world. Well, if you flip the page, it's going to automatically switch over to Felicity. But what you can do is there is a chapter two in here, which I think you're kind of getting already a sneak peek. Um, chapter two is furry friends. So then you can turn to Steps High, which is Kaya's horse. And then for day two of reading, you could do uh, reading about the animals. If you flip back here on chapter three, then you have doo, 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 amazing places. And each of these has one focal place for each of the dolls. So for Kaya, it was talking about her teepees, which made a great discussion about like homes of Native Americans and how many different homes Native Americans in the United States had before, uh, again, colonial expansion. So this one covered the, just the uh, teepee. And then there's also another chapter back here as well, but it doesn't actually have every single uh, doll in here. It does say girls on the go. Like it automatically starts with Felicity. So Kaya is actually not in this section. So we weren't able to use that. But what we were able to do, and I love that they have uh, Kaya actually on the back. What we were able to do was we took this and set it aside. This was the second book that we picked up from Sam's Club to go with the encyclopedia. This is American Girl Dress Up. Yes, this is a sticker book. But again, can we talk about the fact that this is more of like fun schooling teaching? This gives some little fun facts for each one. Okay, so this one right here, she put some on here for Josefina. Like she had to put the hat on, the vest on. Did she put the boots? No, this one she didn't. But then like it says summer sun. Josefina wears this bright dress and vest on hot summer days. Her hat shades her face from the sun. That's still a really fun fact to be able to learn about and think about, oh, hey, in days before sunscreen, how did girls keep their, you know, their face hid from the sun so they weren't getting super burnt like every time they went out in the hot summer sun and little things like that. So I love that it has like these little prompts in it. It's like she would spend one to two days going through and obviously you can see she's not completely finished um, working on each of the dolls. And she would go through, like, here's one for Kaya. And, like, we had to work on also, like, hand-eye coordination. Because this was really hard to line up, like, getting this just right. So she went through one day and did just all the Kaya ones. Now, again, I know this doesn't fill two weeks of work. Here is what I also did. On the classic books, you know, this is a classic Kirsten book. On the classic books for the dolls, they were broken up into six books. What I would do is I would assign if we had it and, and if we or if we could find a virtual uh, book of it, like an ebook of it, um, we would do the first book of these. There's also later on the newer dolls have these Be Forever books. So what I would do is I would assign like half of one book one day, half a book of another. And I know that some of you are going to say, well, the American Girl dolls are, are fictional characters based off of historical moments. That's where the older books come in. So for the dolls that have older books, one of my favorite things about these books when I was a kid and that I really love now, they have these looking back selections. And it's like for Kirsten, for this book, it's looking back 1854, a peek into the past. And then for Kirsten, like it talks about what it would have been like growing up in 1854 with real snapshots of historical information. From there, once we finished all of our book resources, what I would do is say, okay, was there anything specific you read in Kaya's family, the heritage, the history that you want to springboard off of and do your own kind of fun rapport or a collage or an art piece or something that you want to do to show me what you have learned about Native Americans in pre-colonial expansion? And so that's kind of how we started. And then we went through, like I said, and we went through the list. And we went through the list from the encyclopedia and said, okay, now we're working on Felicity. What time period does that cover? Some other resources that we did add back in, number one, would be the American Girl movies. We went ahead and bought a DVD of the four-pack of Felicity, Molly, Samantha, and Kit. Then we also found some of the newer ones as well. Some of the American Girl movies are actually on Amazon. So we were able to stream those with our Amazon um, Prime subscription that we have. But on movies that we couldn't find everything that we wanted for it, we actually could go a little bit further. So there's a Squanto movie on Disney Plus that you could watch to go along with the Kaya movie and talk about comparison and contrast of different Native American tribes. Um, some other movies we bought was we bought from eBay the It's America, Charlie 
Charlie Brown series. They're super expensive, but totally worth having because they also have like American history as I feel it was intended to be taught. So there is one on there of the first Thanksgiving that we watched along with Kaya and then we refreshed it during Thanksgiving. We actually watched it on our way to have Thanksgiving with a family member. Let's see, it has that one. It also has like when they were uh, talking about how the constitution was made. Um, and I think there's like the Wright brothers are on there, but there's also those. So use it as a springboard. One of my biggest things that I try to tell people whenever I'm counseling other homeschool families is don't get so settled on this is a one quick solution. Let's do this and then we're done. Look at it as a springboard because that's kind of how we looked at it too. Somebody recently asked, why do you still have the Monarch review videos up if you're not still using Monarch? Because I still think that Monarch was a springboard. It's a great tool if you don't, if you need that all-in-one curriculum that grades for you. And if we needed that, we would still use it. But for us, Monarch also became a springboard of doing more of this homeschooling method that we're doing now of finding our own little curriculum pieces, putting them together, and then going off of that and monarch kind of encouraged that with some of the projects that you could add on most people end up taking those out and just doing the basic and if that's you go for it just as long as you're doing what you need to do to teach your child i love the project so because it was like okay you've read about this in spanish culture this week and then you're going to go and find pictures and make a collage of what life in colombia is like um, and then like for other stuff like that, I was able to springboard and say, hey, let's watch uh, Encanto and then you can do a report on it for while you're studying this. So like Monarch was still a springboard to get to this point. And then this could definitely be a springboard. Pull up those old American Girl books. There's free resources online in different states of like checking out virtual books. Or you could try to find like these books. Or if your girls are big into reading, you could go online and just buy some of the American Girl books and just use those books and their love of reading. So here's another fun fact that I learned from my guidance counselor. Especially in middle school, this could actually dual be a dual class. Not like a dual enrollment. Dual enrollment means you're taking a college class in high school. This would be a dual class, which means you actually could do this class as both your literature and your history for eighth grade, which is actually what my plan is for eighth grade for next year. But that's going to be another video late summer, early fall of what my rising eighth grader is going to be doing for literature. But today, guys, that's it for now. Thank you to all of our members for supporting our content to allow us to continue making videos. And thank you to all of you for liking, watching, and subscribing. Please click that thumbs up button and we will see you next time.